In this video, we'll carry on with our course on learning how to differentiate powers of x. Now, in the previous two videos, we saw that if we have a function, f of x, which is a power of x, say, x to the power of n, then its derivative, f dash of x, is equal to n times x to the power of n minus 1. And so far, we've seen that n could be a positive integer or a negative integer. So let's give us give ourselves a couple of examples here and say that, for example, f of x is equal to x cubed, then in this case, f dash of x, the derivative function, there we go, is equal to 3x squared. Similarly, if f of x were equal to 1 over x squared, then we saw that we could write this as f of x equals to x to the power of negative 2, and using the power rule again, we can write the derivative function f dash of x is equal to negative 2 times x to the power of negative 3, which of course is the same thing as writing f dash of x is equal to negative 2 over x to the power of 3. But, let's see what happens if we were given a function in which the power of x was a fraction. For example, if we're given f of x is equal to x to the power of two-thirds. Well, luckily for us, the power rule still works here, and we can go ahead and use it and say that the derivative function f dash of x is equal to two-thirds times x to the power of two-thirds minus one. And two-thirds minus one is equal to negative one-third. So that leads us to f dash of x is equal to two-thirds times x to the power of negative one-third. And so there you have it. We can also differentiate powers of x in which the power is a fraction using the power rule. But let's go ahead and see why this is useful. An important thing to remember is that when we write x to the power of m over n, what this actually means, or what this is the same thing as, is the nth root of x to the power of m. In other words, the number on the denominator of the fraction is the same as the number of the root that we're considering. So, for example, when we write x to the power of two-thirds, this is the same thing as writing the third root of x squared, or x to the power of two-fifths. That's the same thing as writing the fifth root of x cubed. And the most common one we know is x to the power of one half, which is the same thing as the square root of x. And in the case of the square root of x, we often just ignore the two altogether and just write square root of x. So remember, the important thing is that when we write x to the power of m over n, this is the same thing as the nth root of x to the power of m. It's worth writing that down a few times just to remember it. Now, let's see how this is going to help us to differentiate more complicated functions. Let's say, and I'll call this example 1, that we had to differentiate f of x is equal to the cubic root of x. Well, in this case, this is the same thing, using what we just saw, as f of x is equal to x to the power of one-third. And we can now use the power rule to differentiate this function. And we can go ahead and say that the derivative, f dash of x, is equal to one-third times x to the power of one-third minus one. One-third minus one is equal to negative two-thirds, so this leads us to one-third 
times x to the power of negative two-thirds. And we could stop there. This would be a perfectly valid final answer. But if we wanted to, and I'll write this in blue to emphasis on the fact that we could have stopped here, but we could actually go ahead and say this is the same thing as f dash of x is equal to one-third times one over x to the power of two-thirds. And the reason for this is because that this negative power here, that negative, is telling us that this is the reciprocal, meaning to say it's 1 over x to the power of 2 thirds. And so going one step further still, we could say that the derivative function f dash of x is equal to 1 third of 1 over the cubic root of x squared which finally would lead us to a second final answer, which would be the derivative function is equal to 1 over 3 times the cubic root of x squared. Now again, I'll insist a bit. This answer, as well as this answer, would be accepted in more or less every type of exam board you would come across. Nevertheless, it is worth knowing both. Do try and make sure you're able to go from this first final answer to the second. If nothing else, it's excellent practice for your algebra. Let's look at another example. Let's say we have to differentiate f of x is equal to the fifth root of x squared. Well, in this case, again, we're going to use what we've learned and say that this is the same thing as f of x is equal to x to the power of 2 over 5. And so using the power rule, we can say that the derivative function f dash of x is equal to 2 over 5 times x to the power of 2 over 5 minus 1. And since 2 over 5 minus 1 is equal to negative 3 over 5, this leads us to f dash of x is equal to 2 fifths times x to the power of negative 3 fifths. And there you go. We just differentiated this function. f dash of x is equal to 2 fifths of x to the power of negative 3 fifths. Again, if we wanted to, we could write this final answer as a, in root form, also called the third form, and I'll let you do the working, but you would find f dash of x is equal to 2 over 5 times the fifth root of x to the power of 3. Could be good practice to press pause and see how to get from here to here. Both of these answers are, are saying the same thing, though. Let's look at one final example in which I'm going to highlight a very common case. In other words, this, the result that we're about to see here, you'll want to memorize and just know off by heart. And let's call this example three. So let's say f of x is equal to the square root of x. Now, using everything we've just learned, we can see that f of x is equal to x to the power of 1 over 2. And now using the power rule, we can state that the derivative f dash of x is equal to 1 over 2 times x to the power of 1 over 2 minus 1. And since 1 over 2 minus 1 is equal to negative 1 over 2, this leads us to f dash of x is equal to 1 over 2 times x to the power of negative 1 over 2. And this would be, I want to say, ex an acceptable final answer. Nevertheless, in this particular case, it's worth knowing how to go further. So I'm going to do that here below. And say that f dash of x is the same thing as 1 over 2 times 1 over x to the half 
radical, 1 over x to the power of 1 over 2. And since x to the power of 1 over 2, I'll write it here in purple, x to the power of 1 over 2 is equal to the square root of x, we can go further and say that f dash of x is equal to 1 over 2 times 1 over square root of x. And this leads us to f dash of x is equal to 1 over 2 square root of x. And this answer is worth memorizing. It is very common and it will save you lots of time when you differentiate. Many exams have this. And in fact, we should go ahead and write a separate rule here. This is on top of everything we've seen so far with the power rule. If f of x is equal to the square root of x, then f dash of x is equal to 1 over 2 root x. I cannot insist enough on how much it is worth knowing that. Memorize that formula. Memorize that rule. And there you have it. That concludes our course on differentiating powers of x using the power rule.